Guys, this is a very special request video and I'm excited to do it, but I don't want this to take too long, so hopefully I can rock this out quick. Here are my settings on the Canon R6 as a portrait, commercial, and wedding photographer, and this is what I've set up and left, so I'm gonna get into this right now. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, this is the Canon R6. Uh, we're gonna do a little setting setup from beginning to end here. I'm gonna go very quick, so if you miss anything, feel free to rewind, fast forward, pause, stop, anything like that. For though go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel click this video if it helps you anyway give it a thumbs up and then guys if you have comments or questions put that in the comment section i check it all the time i'm happy to answer it um, this is something that i had to figure out myself from camera to camera and of course i have a ton of r6 videos out there so this is a canon r6 um, latest software it is almost christmas 2020 and uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. So I'm gonna start kind of from the beginning, guys. So this is just our um, menu setup right here. We're just gonna go through the menu setup. I can go through anything else that you guys need. But basically, I shoot two camera, um, two memory cards at the same time, and I shoot both to full raw. Um, I don't really wanna get into what the options are, guys, but I shoot in full raw to both cards, meaning if something happens to one card, I still have the backup. There's no reason for me to shoot JPEG on anything. Um, there hasn't really been anything other than one or two things in the last three years for that to come up. So that's kind of what I shoot. Uh, full cropping ratio is full. Um, I don't need to mess with my exposure, my ISO settings I don't need to mess with. Um, HDR PQ settings is off. Um, auto lighting optimizer is off. Highlight tone priority is off. Anti-flicker dis anti disabled. And external speed light control. I use a Godox system, guys and I don't need uh, this at all. So that's all off, which is pretty good for you. I don't remember what's standard and what's not standard. Um, white balance, as long as it's not on an auto, you guys are good. So I leave it on uh, daylight right here and then I modify everything. If you guys shoot JPEG, this means a lot more to you. I shoot raw, so I actually change my white balance in editing, so I don't have to worry about it all. Same with custom white balance, I don't have it at all. Um, picture style is portrait, um, and I do do a um, I don't know if I modified this, but um, it's three, two, four, zero, zero, zero. Uh, messing with all of my different balances and playing with it. Again, your picture style is more for JPEG. The RAWs don't bring this over, so it really doesn't matter if you shoot RAW. It's just kind of like showing on the back of your camera or if you decide you want a JPEG. I do recommend playing with it. Same with clarity and lens aberration correction. I don't play with that at all because I do that in editing. Um, nothing's changed here. Um, oh, this is where you'll find your double exposure, guys. I do have this on my star screen over here, my favorites, but as of right now, disabled, HDR mode is off, and focus bracketing is disabled. Um, all this is uh, shutter release without card is off. I do not want it to take a picture if I don't have a card in there. It'll send me a little reminder. This is also where you can change your mechanical shutter um, or your electronic shutter, um, and I'll show you guys the sounds here now. So this is mechanical, this is normal. And then this is electronic, meaning two. So obviously huge difference, guys. Um, just test out your electronic before. Know that it works with the lighting and it can mess up and create some striping in your imagery. Uh, mechanical sounds great. I don't mess with this at all. It doesn't really do anything to me, but the electronic I'll use during ceremonies um, so that I'm not being heard. Um, image stabilization mode is on. Um, I think it just kind of modifies a little. I don't do any uh, digital IS. I turn that off. Still photo IS always. Um, touch shutter disabled. I'm not a huge fan of the touch shutter on here, but basically you can push you know, your screen anywhere and, and let that take a picture while you do it. Uh, metering mode I really don't play with at all, but I have it to eight seconds. Exposure simulation is on, and I'll have a separate video on this that I'm creating right now, meaning that whatever you see, guys, is what you get. Right? So if I take a picture right here like this, this is exactly what I get, okay? Um, off means that uh, old school DSLR or normal stuff is that it gets you the best screen so that you can see what you're about to shoot, uh, no matter what you're changing right now. My light is changing in the background, hence the changing of colors on this. 
So I have it in enabled and that's kind of what I like. Shooting info displayed, um, screening. So I have all of them set for my screen info. Um, and I think I don't mess with anything else. Um, that's it all on. And that's going to allow me to, um, when I'm shooting, it'll show me what I need to do by hitting that info button. And this is a screen that I pretty much shoot everything on. I'm always looking on this just like so. Uh, I don't care about any of the video stuff because I don't shoot video on here. Um, autofocus, uh, servo, um, all servo means just always focusing. With this camera, I have all servo uh, set to always because I can always move right here. In fact, auto eye focus is right here for me. And see how I found an eye right there? Just a random eye, uh, one of my kids' um, pictures. Autofocus method, um, I have autofocus set to spot AF. Um, meaning that this is my spot focus and I can move this where I need to. And then I have a cheat button right here that allows me to find the nearest eye. And then the cool thing is, is wherever you kind of go close with this, it'll find the closest eye to it. So I have Chloe right over here, Ryan right over here. I guess that's the most eye that it wants to find. It works pretty much okay for the most part, but sometimes it does mess up and it frustrates me. Subject to detect people. So you can do people or animals. Uh, this is really good if you shoot pets. You can switch this real quick and you can get the animals set up for you guys. Um, continuous autofocus disabled. I highly recommend you disable this. All this means is that when it is on, it is always going to be focusing no matter what you do. Every time you move the camera, it's going to be focusing. It's going to drain your battery and it's not going to let you control it. So I disable it and my autofocus is either this button or this or my shutter halfway down. So that's when I want it to focus. Movie, I don't care. Touch and drag autofocus settings. Um, I do have this enabled um, and I use the position method of relative. Um, and I have the touch area of the whole panel, which is my whole screen right there. Uh, meaning that my whole screen, I can kind of autofocus where I need to. And I rarely use this and I, and, um, I don't run into the issue with this as I had with my Sony um, or my other Canon where it would, my nose would do everything. So my nose doesn't really mess with it too much, which is nice. We have um, auto system beam. This is if you have something on like a flash or something. I, I don't use that. So I just have it on just in case. And I have this set to auto guys. So this is your servo autofocus. When you're doing autofocus, I'm, this camera's getting smart. These cameras are getting smarter. They're doing a lot of great things. So I'm letting it do what it's going to do. So the case A is tracking automatically adapts to subject movement, meaning that when I focus on something or I do an auto eye focus or I change real quick, um, to uh, a focus method like here, it will track that person automatically to the best settings that it thinks it wants. And it actually works really, really well. So I highly rec recommend just leaving it on auto. Let's see, do, 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 do. Um, nothing changes here, guys. Um, oh, this is good, okay. So let's see, um, one shot release, boom, switching track subjects one. Okay, so limit autofocus method system. So um, I hit this button right here um, and this will bring up my screen down below that you guys can see. So I don't need all of these buttons all the time. So I want just to be able to have a few that I like and this will allow you to pick it. So basically you put a check mark on which one ones you want. Those will automatically scroll through and scan through easy, uh, easier. So that's what I have. So I have the first, second, third, and fifth, no sixth setup. Um, and those are great. The other ones are just a little bit too wide sometimes and I don't really need them, but this will allow me to hit this button and then the MNF button in front to just scroll through and pick. Uh, which is this button right here, the MFN button. So you can pick that or use your main dial as well. Uh, da, 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 initial servo. Nope. Nothing's changed at this point. Uh, I don't have a RF lens on this, but you can add, you can modify your RF lens uh, to change a few things if you would like. Cool guys, we're running through this. Um, so none of this I really changed guys. This is all of the preview stuff. I didn't change anything at all. Image jump to 10. Um, this will jump at 10 images when you go through and this will jump at uh, one image as you go through, but I didn't change anything. I didn't even play with the rating, anything like that. Wi-Fi, I didn't change anything at all except my name. So I did do JLP2 on this camera. 
Um, I do recommend changing your names uh, so that you can find, especially if you're camera. So I have two of these cameras and that way I can tell the difference between both if I were to use Wi-Fi, but I don't have to. I'm a tether shooter, so I don't use that at all. Um, we're gonna go to, um, oh, this is our record section here. So I'm recording, uh, I've disabled this, which is uh, putting it onto separate cards as far as photos and videos go. I put them all into the same card. Um, recording options record separately to both cards. Um, record options standard. Um, I don't wanna auto switch cards at all because I'm recording to both at the same time, so it actually won't let me do it. Um, whenever I uh, play from a card, I have it playing from card number two. And this is important, guys. So um, you guys, when you hit this play button on the images that you just shot, this is playing from my second card and not the first. So you just have to know that in between if you decide you wanna play from the first or the second one, uh, just so you guys kinda know. Um, this is where you find the format cards, your date and time, make sure that they're both, if you have multiple cards, that they're fine. Auto rotate, this is one of the frustrating things with me, guys. What happens is when I take a picture, um, no matter how I orient it, it's always gonna show up on the screen as, a, uh, as this way. So it'll be a vertical shot will show this way, horizontal shot this way, but when I turn the camera, it won't modify, and I do not like that. Um, that's something that they know about, that they will fix one day, um, but other than that, it's just a little nuisance that I don't have. Um, language video system, we don't change any of this. Headphone volume, I don't play with headphones, so I don't really care. Power saving, I have it 30 minutes. Auto power off disabled, viewfinder disabled. I carry extra batteries, I don't have to worry about it, so I don't actually um, want it to turn off unless I turn it off. I don't want to actually pick up a camera after 30 minutes and have to go, oh my God, it's off, let me turn it back on or hit a button to turn it on. So I don't worry about that at all. Ha, da, 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 da. Screen brightness five, viewfinder brightness four, and this is just, you, you kind of figure out what you guys want to do um, as far as, as everything going. Um, auto switching on its own. I think I didn't change this at all. This is all kind of normal. All kind of normal. Oh, touch control standard. Uh, it works pretty, it works really, really well. I don't know how sensitive would work better, but like I said, I don't want my nose actually touching the screen and then changing it. Uh, battery info, copyright information. Um, I just go through this, uh, put your copyright information in. Uh, that should be good. Make sure your firmware is up to date. This is up to date as of right now, as of December, 2020. I did check recently, so if it is wrong, my bad. Um, nothing's changing here too much. Nothing has to change here at all. Nothing on uh, orange three. Oh, uh, customize buttons. Okay, cool. So guys, um, this is something you'll kind of play with and learn as you kind of go through. You're gonna figure out your best settings that you guys want. So right now I have uh, normal direction, reverse direction on my a AV. So my shutter is uh, up here and my aperture is right here. Uh, my customized buttons are as so. I have uh, autofocus on the front button and I have um, record uh, video or not up here where it's a normal button. Um, I have my autofocus right here. I have my eye autofocus right here. So when I'm shooting, I can either click this or this. Um, and I don't really think I changed anything else. Um, middle button, yeah. So this is just kind of, this is where you're gonna customized buttons that you use a lot. So I came from Sony, I had custom buttons, everything, and these are just kind of where I felt like I was using it. It'll take you a little bit of time to figure out those dials or those buttons, but when you do, you got this, guys. So uh, this is where, like, if you're normally, like, you like aperture up here or shutter down here, um, that's where you'll set that up. There's actually another one right up here. So I think, I think if I can remember right, shutter, aperture, ISO. Shutter, aperture, ISO, and then it happens the same down here as well. So those are the things that I set up down like so. Works out pretty easily. You guys can figure out what you guys need to figure out. Da -da 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 Nothing's really changed here. And that's to clear everything. So basically you messed it up. You want to go, go back or you're selling the camera. This is probably the most important one that I kind of leave on, guys. This is a green. This is your custom uh, menu, if you will. These are things that you guys use all the time. Um, and this is what I recommend having. Format card. Uh, changing the date or time zone, my file name, sensor cleaning, battery info, turning on and off uh, multiple exposure if you guys play with it. This will go into your second screen, your shutter mode, mechanical or electronic. When I'm shooting uh, ceremonies, I want to be able to change it on the fly. And then exposure simulation, so when I'm shooting in studio, outside studio, I want to know 
what I'm actually getting, that's what I play with. And uh, all you gotta do to that is add to my menu tab, click on it, uh, you can create a three or two or whatever, and then add to it, so it's very simple. So this is the most important thing. So if you guys find yourself going from um, a certain thing all the, all the time, this is where you're gonna modify and change it. So guys, I went through that kind of quick. Feel free to ask questions, comment below. It's still a 15 minute video, um, but I'm happy to answer questions and I will get into more detail on certain aspects of this. So stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in this as well. Exposure simulation, uh, mechanical electronic shutter are gonna be huge things that I'm gonna talk about because the exposure simulation for me is what makes a, um, a camera like this. What is this called? A DSLR, this is called a, uh, oh my God. It's gonna to come to me in two seconds. What the frick kind of camera is this? It's not a DSLR, it's a um, mirrorless camera. <laughs> a mirrorless camera be what it's supposed to be. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.